How's it going folks? I'm Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. Today we're at Ohio Drone Repair with Roger. Probably thousands of these units, the LP12s have been becoming bricked. Basically it is a firmware issue from the, the drone itself to the LP12. And Roger's gonna show you how we do basically a firmware update to make sure that your unit does not become bricked and just doesn't work. And the only way to fix it is to send it back to ZZI and then they have to repair it from there. So let's go through the steps of how to do this. Even if this unit is brand new, you'll have to do this. Hey guys, so going through here, um, there's two main things we need to check right off the bat. Uh, the first one is going to be the firmware of what the drone is sitting at. So we go in here under the three dots, It'll pop up in this column, you scroll down, actually here down here to these three dots, and go down to the about. You will see the aircraft version, which is 08.00.003. That is gonna be the only firmware update that the newest LP12 firmware will work on. So if you look at your aircraft and see that it already is on the 08 firmware, you wanna make sure your LP12 is up to the newest firmware, as well as if you see it on like 06 or 07, you're gonna to wanna to update it completely to the newest firmware after we update the LP12. So you first have to update the LP12 and then update this? Correct. Okay, we're just making sure that that's how they understand it. Yeah, so first with the LP12 um, and your the little case it does come in, if you open it up, there will be usually a white cable like this or something similar to this. The newer models will have a USB-C, the older model, models will be US or micro USB. From there, you can plug it into the LP12, there's a little spot on the side, plug that in there. From there, our computer is down here, just plug it into the USB, there it goes, or made the connection. So going in here, it looks like it is under USB drive D, and there it popped up. So when you look in here, your firmware update is gonna be the bin file right here. This is gonna be the newest bin file. Um, if you don't see this on there, it ends in 00.02. You're gonna to need to update it. From there, to get the bin file, I imagine you'll have it on your website. We'll yeah, we'll have to put it somewhere. It. We'll put it somewhere for that. What you'll wanna do, if it is a new firmware, drag the bin file right into the folder because already is up to date, we're not gonna drag it in there. From there, you can delete the old bin file off of the aircraft. So this, you're saying that this unit came with the new one on it? Correct. Okay, so if we go in here and we see an older one than that, then we first have to drag the new one down and then delete the old one. Correct. So once that is on there, you're able to go here, you right click on the drive, and that should be able to eject it. Give it a second, it should close out of there. From there, it is safe to unplug it from the computer. You can unplug the cables from that. Your next step is going to be updating the drone itself. We highly recommend updating through DJI Assistant 2 for Enterprise Series. Which looks like that. Look like this app. There is multiple different DJI Assistant 2s, but the one you want is the Enterprise Series 1. Uh, that can be found on the DJI Downloads page. Uh, for it. Uh, we highly recommend using it on Windows over Mac, but it does still work on Mac if you need it to. So from there, we'll click into it and open up the Enterprise Series Assistant 2. We'll take a second to populate. Awesome. So this is what your main screen is gonna look at uh, when you first start up. From there, you can plug in a USB cable back into the computer. From there, we can go to the other port on the drone and be able to plug it in. So the one on the right is gonna be for your third party attachments like the LP12, JZT60s, anything else like that. And the other one is to direct connection to the drone. From there, it should pop right up on there, uh, DJI M30 series. So we'll click on there. And in here immediately will be a firmware uh, page. Uh, if it says firmware incompatibility, um, that's most likely something like your batteries or something like that, it's not up to date. I'd recommend closing out of that first and then going through here and doing a refresh. Or if your firmware is not up to date, it will say in blue uh, that there is a firmware update right there. We can go through the process of just clicking it and we'll go through here and we'll start to do the update. I'm just gonna start it real quick here just so you guys can see the screens. It will first go through transmitting, then it will go through downloads, and then it will go through the update. We'll give it here a few seconds to go through the process. And this is the version. It has to be, right. it has to be that version or later, right? Correct. But, but that is the latest version we have right now. Yes, at the moment, as of November 14th, that is the latest version from DJI. Yep. 
And in this whole time, you want to make sure your LP12 is not connected to the computer in any sorts. Um, if it is connected, you, at that point, you'll brick the LP12. Um, at that point, uh, you can reach out to a company like us and you can be able to do all the customer service and get it warranted and fixed through CZI. They are, there is talk that they are going to release the software to fix this, but we have not any confirmation on this at the moment. After it goes through the transmitting process, it will switch to the next part, which is doing the update. So now that's, that's up to date. Version 08.00.0003. Oh, headaches. Solved. So, it's not complete yet. So now that's updated, and now the LP12 is updated. The process you're going to want to go to to finish the update for the LP12, because we only have the firmware on there, it needs to run through the system. From there, you're going to want to turn the drone off from after the update. You can go and put the LP12 back onto the drone and have it plugged back in. Turn it back on. When you do turn it on, um, the speaker, how it announces, will say the speaker is ready to do a firmware update. It's not gonna say that right now because it is already updated. But it will announce that it's ready to do a firmware update. Let it go through its process. It will even announce that the firmware is complete. We have seen sometimes it does not say that. If you give it a few minutes of let it move around, it usually takes about 10 minutes or so. You can turn it off and turn it back on. One thing to note is after you turn it, it does the firmware update, you're going to want to turn it off, turn it back on, and if you go back here to your camera view, once this PSDK file pops back up, right here, you may see this right here. Um, part of the reason is clicking right into it too soon, so if we go back out again, click into it, some of the features start to show up. But if you've seen this where you're missing features, all you have to do, go into the three dots, go under the PSDK, and if we start just turning on and off and change some of the brightness, just go through the toggles, they will start to pop up. The one started to pop up, sometimes it takes a couple times. Right there, now one of the settings came up, that's the angle Just mess with it. as you see now they're starting to slowly pop up with it it will take some time and sometimes you also will have to restart it in between the aircraft because it is just the basic startup but over time all of these will populate if you mess with the settings enough for the reason they don't populate all of them you can still access all your controls under this psdk file i know it's not the full-blown solution to fix it, but temporarily with how these have been working, you might need to do that. You can turn it off and on again and see if we can get some of these settings back as well. here, make sure the system has been able to set up. See the green. The camera view. We'll give it a second to, to boot up. It's crazy how long that can take at times. It does. Usually by the time you get everything set up and you're ready to take off, it is ready to go and where you need it, but sometimes it's just... Okay. have to wait for it to, uh, the microphone to speak and all that information. Usually the first initial startup, by the time it gets satellites and the system initializes for the first time, it will be up and running for you guys. The firmware isn't a foolproof by CZI. If um, you see there are more features are starting to pop up. Sometimes it just takes time to turn it on and off as well as mess with these settings in here under the app. The feature that's not showing up right now is oh. syncing it with the camera. Yep, there now it there it is. So sometimes Touching and messing with the settings and sometimes turning it on and off will get you back all the settings. It just takes a few minutes to do. I imagine this issue should be fixed in a future firmware update by CZI, but right now they're working on fixing all these broken CZI, so they're a little preoccupied right now. Yep. Cool. So that's how you are able to get your LP12 working back on your M32.
That is, if it's not been bricked. It is, if it's not been bricked. How to know if your uh, LP12 is bricked or not? How do we figure that out? Yes, so how to be able to figure that out? Um, that was actually one of the earlier steps to see. So we can turn off the drone and pull the LP12 off again. Pull this off. Let's get this plug back in. It's, a, it's pretty easy to tell if it is or not. Um, We will wait for the chime for it to recognize it. It can take some time. And that's one thing, if your cable is not, um, or if it is not connecting at all after even 30 seconds, sometimes your cable is bad. It, rec it's re it is recommended to use the cable that comes in the box, but sometimes you lose those cables. Um, if not, just keep on trying different, different cables. Usually the thicker cables will have the data transfer capability that it needs for it. But anyways, now to be able to check to see if it is bricked or not. So when you have this up right here, um, it can be any file, or if you wanna just try to drag the firmware update into there. I'm not gonna do the firmware update because it is already on there, but if, if any other file, like a text file or anything, if you try to drag a file in there, and it will pop up as it says it's right protected, or the disk is right protected and you can't access it. Uh. At that point, you unfortunately need to send it into CZI to be able to get it uh, warranted and fixed. Okay, sounds good. I appreciate it, Roger. No problem at all. Huh.